right now. 250 miles up in space, two astronauts are waiting for their ride home. They've been living on the International Space Station since June, much longer than planned. Their story is about to change because SpaceX's Crew Dragon spaceship is on its way to bring them back to Earth. This isn't just another space mission, it's about bringing our astronauts home safely. The mission shows how far space travel has come, with private companies like SpaceX now helping NASA get astronauts to and from space. The way these companies and space agencies work together is changing how we think about space travel. Something big is happening in space right now, and you're about to find out all about this amazing rescue mission. Our astronauts in space. Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams never expected to stay in space this long. They were supposed to be up there for just eight days, but life had other plans. When engineers found problems with the Boeing Starliner spacecraft that was supposed to bring them home, their short trip turned into a months-long stay. Wilmore, who has been to space three times before, and Williams, who holds the record for the longest time a woman has spent in space, have been handling this change like true professionals. Every day on the space station, they keep busy doing important science experiments. They fix things that need fixing and make sure everything on the station works properly. They talk to Earth every day, telling NASA how they're doing and what's happening on the station. Even though they've been up there longer than planned, they keep working hard, showing just how dedicated they are to their jobs in space. Boeing's spacecraft failed. The Boeing Starliner problem that caused all this shows how careful we need to be with space travel. NASA works with both, SpaceX and Boeing, to have different ways to get astronauts to space. It's like having a backup plan. When the Starliner had problems, they decided to send it back to Earth empty instead of risking anyone's safety. This was a big decision, but it shows how everyone involved puts safety first no matter what. The engineers found the problems during their careful checks of the spacecraft. Instead of rushing to fix things, they took their time to make sure everything would be absolutely safe. This careful approach means the astronauts had to stay in space longer, but it's better to be safe than sorry when it comes to space travel. SpaceX's Rescue Plan SpaceX's Crew Dragon spaceship is like a space taxi that's already proven it can safely take astronauts to and from space. For this special mission, they've sent up their Dragon capsule with two empty seats. These are specially saved for Wilmore and Williams, and along with the empty seats, NASA astronaut Nick Haig and Russian cosmonaut Alexander Gorbanov are going up to bring fresh supplies to the space station. Getting ready for this launch took lots of careful planning. Teams at SpaceX and NASA worked together to figure out the best time to launch and exactly how the spacecraft would meet up with the space station. The Dragon capsule is really smart. It can dock with the space station by itself and has special safety systems in case anything goes wrong. It's already done many successful trips to space, which makes everyone confident it can bring our astronauts home safely. Launch Delays Hurricane Helene caused some big problems for the launch. The storm was so strong, it forced SpaceX to wait a few extra days before launching. The hurricane went through Florida, then moved north through Georgia and into Tennessee and the Carolinas, leaving lots of damage behind. This shows how Earth's weather can affect even our plans in space. SpaceX knows how to handle these kind of delays. They've dealt with bad weather before and know exactly what to do to keep everything safe. They waited until the hurricane passed and all conditions were perfect before launching the spacecraft. This patience and careful planning helped make sure the launch would be successful. Space Collaboration Space exploration brings countries together in amazing ways. NASA and Roscosmos, Russia's space agency, have a special agreement where Russian Soyuz spaceships carry American astronauts and American spaceships carry Russian cosmonauts. They each save one seat on their spacecraft for the other country's space travelers. This happens every six months and helps keep the International Space Station running smoothly. The space station itself shows how well countries can work together. It's like a giant science laboratory in space where people from different countries live and work together. When astronauts are up there, it doesn't matter what country they're from, they're all space explorers working together to learn new things that can help everyone on Earth. Improved Space Travel This mission shows how far we have come with space travel. SpaceX now regularly takes astronauts to and from space, something only government space agencies could do before. They can respond quickly when NASA needs help, like in this situation. 
The company has been taking crews to and from the International Space Station every six months, making space travel more routine than ever before. The Crew Dragon capsule is expected to reach the space station at around 21.30 GMT on Sunday. When it gets there, it uses special computers and sensors to dock itself to the station, almost like a self-driving car, but in space. This technology makes space travel safer and more reliable than ever before. The journey home in February will be carefully planned. The Dragon capsule will need to slow down just right to leave orbit and come back into Earth's atmosphere, and it has a special heat shield that protects it from the extreme heat of re-entry. Temperatures can get as hot as 3,500 degrees Fahrenheit. And after it slows down enough, large parachutes will open to help it land gently in the ocean, where boats will be waiting to pick up the astronauts. Every time SpaceX does a mission like this, they learn more about how to make space travel better. All this experience will be super important as we plan bigger missions, like going back to the moon or even traveling to Mars. The success of private companies working with NASA shows that the future of space exploration will be a team effort between government space agencies and private businesses. This whole operation shows just how many people it takes to make space travel work. Hundreds of people on Earth work together to plan every detail. They make sure the astronauts are safe, the spacecraft works perfectly, and everything happens at just the right time. It's amazing to think about how all these people from different countries and companies work together to make something this complicated happen successfully. When this mission is finished and our astronauts are safely home, it will be another big step forward in space travel. It proves that we can solve big problems in space by working together and being careful and patient. As we keep exploring space and planning bigger missions, the lessons we learn from this mission will help make future space travel even better and safer. This rescue mission isn't just about bringing two astronauts home, it's about showing how far we have come in space travel and how much farther we can go when we work together. It's an exciting time for space exploration, and missions like this one help pave the way for even more amazing space adventures in the future. Thanks for joining me on today's video through SpaceX's rescue mission. If you want to stay updated on all the latest space exploration news and mission updates, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. See you on our video.